This video is to give you an idea of what to look for when having your 8mm films converted to digital. All the children that you are looking at in these home movies are now middle-aged. They are very fortunate to be able to see themselves as they once were and to be able to take a nostalgic look at how their families used to live and play. You see, more than 50% of all archive film shot prior to 1960 has now been lost forever. Yet moving pictures live and convey so much more than any photograph. However, there is no point in having your home movies transferred if the pictures you receive are of poorer quality than the original film. In the same way as you would not hire a professional photographer without seeing a sample of their work, the same principle should apply to the transfer of your home movies. This is a broadcast film transfer machine converting some 8mm film. Thankfully, due to changes in technology, these machines are much smaller, but still produce the same high resolution images. The machine we now use is called a flash scan and is demonstrated on our other video. All the clips you are now looking at were transferred on our flash scan telecine machine. And this is the quality you will require if you are to archive your memories for the future. So let's have a look at this very colourful clip of a family heading off for a day at the beach. Look at the detail in the picture, such as the bricks on the wall and the children's bucket and spade. The colour is reasonable with no trace of flicker and the quality looks acceptable for amateur film that is nearly 50 years old. All things considered, this would be a good professional transfer from Super 8mm film. But look at the difference when you see the same clip transferred on our professional telecine machine. Notice the vibrant colour and increased detail in the picture. The better the quality of your viewing screen, the more you will notice the difference. A very common theme with home movies is weddings and this clip was shot in the 70s. As you can see the quality looks quite reasonable but the picture seems to have a pink tint. The colours also blend into each other and are not defined. You will also notice a lack of detail in the bride's dress. Now look at our transfer of exactly the same clip and you can see the obvious differences. Look at the detail in the bride's white dress, the increased contrast in the picture and you can quite clearly see the colours in the confetti. This clip shows a typical camera projector transfer. This is where a video camera copies the film whilst it is being shown on a screen or rare projection box. It is the most common of all the methods used to transfer amateur film. As you can see the picture is slightly brighter in the middle than at the edges. This is known as a hot spot and is very common with this type of transfer. You will also notice a milky effect on the whites a very slight flicker and lack of detail in the picture. However, even with all these faults, it is still a very good transfer and would be acceptable for a VHS system or older type television. So here is the same clip again on our flash scan telecine machine. The difference by now should be quite obvious to you. Look at the whites in the picture. No milky effect or flicker. The brightness is even all over and the detail much better. 
The only way of being sure that you're getting a good transfer is to do what these clients did and ask for a sample from your own film before handing over your entire collection. That way you can avoid getting a transfer like this. If you would like to know more about how we transfer film or are already in the business and would like to improve your pictures, then please check out our other videos, visit our website or drop us an email. We would be very pleased to hear from you and thanks for watching.